Hi, first graders. Today we're going to talk about sharing a book with your community. Everyone likes to read books about different things. When we share the books we are reading with others, we can learn more about our friends and classmates. For example, if you notice that somebody is reading a book all about space, you might learn that that friend really loves learning all about the planets and the stars and the galaxies. If you notice that a friend is reading a lot of books by Mo Willems, you might learn that that friend thinks that Mo Willems' books are really, really funny and that they like to read them more than other authors. There's lots that you can learn about other people by looking at the kinds of books that they read. You can even connect to what they like and don't like. You already learned that I like reading fiction books. You can learn this about me because I've already shared a fiction book with you before. Remember when we read The Wall in the Middle of the Book? That's a fiction book, a book that's make-believe, and I really liked that book a lot. You also learned that my reading goal was to read more non-fiction books because I read a lot of fiction. So by sharing my reading goal with you and reading The Wall in the Middle of the Book together, I was able to teach you that I really like reading fiction books. You can connect if you also like fiction books too. Fiction books can also teach you a lesson. I like connecting with the characters in fiction books and learning about my own behavior by thinking about how the characters behave. I recently read this book, Ish by Peter H. Reynolds. And it's all about a boy named Ramon who gets frustrated that he can't make his drawings absolutely perfect. But he learns that it's okay if they're just not perfect. And as long as he tries his best and they're what he wants them to be, then that makes them really special. I really liked this book because I felt frustrated too when I can't get something exactly perfect. So I was able to connect to Ramon. And that's one of the reasons that I really liked this book. Here's what your assignment is going to look like for today. You'll have a chance to fill out this reading response sheet. Here's my reading response sheet. The title of my book was Ish. The author of the book is Peter H. Reynolds. Then it asks you, did you like this book? And to color one of the faces. You can color a smiley face if you liked the book, a meh face if you thought it was just okay, or you could color the sad face if you didn't like that book. I colored the happy face because I really liked the book Ish. I'll read you what I wrote. I liked this book because it teaches me a good lesson. Ramon's Ish drawings teach me that it is okay for things not to be perfect. It's a great story. Now, you may not have read this book yourself, but by sharing my feelings about the book with you, I hope it inspires you to find the book and read it on your own, or even find a video online of someone reading it too. That's another great thing about sharing books with your community is that it gives you some new books to try out. So today, here's your assignment for this lesson. First, read one book you have at home, or you can read a book on Raz Kids if you don't have any books at home that you can read by yourself. Number two, complete the reading response worksheet like I did, or you can answer the same questions on your own piece of paper. Finally, post your reading response to the Padlet and see what you can learn about other first graders by reading their reading responses. Make sure you also submit your reading response sheet to Google Classroom so your teachers can read about it too. Have fun first grade. I can't wait to, wait to learn more about you through all the books that you will share with us. See you tomorrow.